Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Let us start this lecture with a thought process, life is like a flame which burns itself from the birth till death. <coughs> so, in the last lecture we basically derived uh, an expression for uh, burning velocity of one dimensional premix flame, of course laminar burning velocity. And today what we will do, we will basically take an example how to uh, determine the burning velocity in actual situations right that we will consider. Determine the laminar burning velocity SL of stoichiometric CH4 air mixture considering single step kinetics for which average reaction rate is given as kilo mole meter cube second right is equal to kg Four zero point three and C oxidizer two point five, where one point zero four into ten power to eleven Right, basically we will have to find out SL. So, uh, by uh, what you call invoking expression for SL, using equation, what would be equation that is? Is it Oh, I have not given an equation, this will be 18, equation 18, can half 2 by 9 alpha by rho u nu plus 1 average. So, uh, this is a single step reactions right. So, we are using a single step chemistry. So, I can write down that is methane is reacting with basically 2 of oxidizer 3.76 N 2 going to 2 plus 2 water plus 7.52 N 2. Right. Uh, this is for basically for single step reaction. And we uh, need to evaluate basically you know um, all these properties like uh, 
new uh, we can find out what it would be right we will have to also find out basically the mass fractions of that right because we will have to evaluate this m dot uh, triple dash f. So, uh, we know that m dot triple dash f average is equal to nothing but m w f n f right. So, that is m w f into k g, k g is basically 1.04 10 power 11 and um, I can write down x p 15,000 by t into c h. So, if you look at I can express that c a concentration in terms of the uh, mass fractions right that will be uh, or let me write down right now c h 4 0 0.3 into c ox 2.5. But we know the concentration basically uh, c f I can write down n f by volume is nothing but your and f by volume molecular weight of fuel divided molecular weight of fuel right and this is nothing but your right so nothing but your mass of fuel and v is uh, if you look at this is uh, y v right into m w f and uh, this I can write down m f by m into rho by m w f is equal this is nothing but here y f. So, y f rho by m w f right. So, uh, similarly I can write down as y oxidizer rho by m w oxidizer. So, if I say this is equation 1 and this is 2, then I can uh, put these values of concentration in equation 2 and I can get. Keep in mind that this uh, uh, reaction is basically occurring at where it will be something like the um, ignition temperature you can say right or I can if you look at this. If I say my x is 0 and this correspond to T ignition, this is my reaction rate. So, kind of thing. So, naturally, what will happening this here? Uh, my temperature will be T ignition. So, T ignition we have already know I am I am saying this as a basically some average temperature of between the reaction zone in the reaction zone where the is equal to 0 0.75 which is nothing but T ignition right T adiabatic plus 0 0.25 T u. So, um, T adiabatic is not given, but if you look at T adiabatic for this uh, thing will be around 2200 Kelvin right 0 0.75 into 2000 Kelvin plus and uh, in this example of course, the T u is not given, but in real situation will be given you can say take T adiabatic is 2200 Kelvin and uh, T u is equal to 300 Kelvin. So, 0 0.25 into 300. So, it will be coming something uh, 1724 
0.5 Kelvin. Oh, I am sorry. So, this is coming basically 298. <coughs> so, this uh, at this temperature, this is corresponding to basically T ignition, right. At that, you will be evaluating, the, otherwise, the temperature is changing, where to evaluate that is the question. So, therefore, this is correspond to that and you will be evaluating that portion. <coughs> Some average temperature you will be taking and this average temperature is right. And also the properties you will be evaluating there, right, uh, evaluating at this. For example, like if I want to find out the properties, the K G of uh, T average will be 114 point minus 3. right and uh, Cp Cp uh, you will be taking as basically 1271.5 this will be kilojoule per kg Kelvin and but however the rho u you will have to evaluate at the uh, again the rho average uh, you will be in a rho u in this case properties you will be finding out as a rho e is equal to 1.18 kg per meter q and this is evaluated at t is equal to 298 kelvin right so, these properties of course, will be given in your example, but here you will have to take at that average temperature. But keep uh, now what we will do, we will basically uh, now evaluate the m dot f and for that we need to uh, evaluate the mass fraction of the uh, methane and the oxidizer and uh, what we will be doing, we will be taking because if you look at uh, the mass fraction of the fuel, let us say this is your mass fraction, it will be this is your Y oxidizer and this is my fuel kind of things, right. This is Y F right and this will be you know it will be highest here and lowest in the product side right this is your x is equal to infinity x is equal to minus infinity right and then where you will evaluate basically you will have to evaluate the average value somewhere here right which will be taking because each along the x direction is changing so you are basically trying to evaluate average property so we will be evaluating the properties at average the mass fractions of fuel and oxidizers are to be mass fraction of fuel are to be evaluated as Let us first uh, you know evaluate the mass fraction of fuel and oxidizer from basically uh, this expression uh, in the chemical reaction that is uh, Y CH4 will be 16 divided by 16 plus 2 into uh, 32 plus 3.76 into 28. Thus, that will be coming around 0 0.055 and this mass fraction at the inlet or x is equal to minus infinity. Similarly, what will be oxidizer will be uh, 2 into 32 divided by 16 plus 2 into 32 3.76 into 28 it will be something 0 
rest of the of course, will be oxygen uh, nitrogen right. <coughs> but however, when we will use this thing uh, in uh, expression for the mass congestion rate of the fuel right per unit volume in equation 2, then I will have to use the average values right. So, the average fraction of fuel and oxidizer are evaluated as y c h 4 is equal to 0 0.55 plus 0 at the product side right. At the x is equal to infinity this will be 0 divided by 2. So, that will get 0 0.0275 and y of oxidizer will be 0 0.22 plus 0 divided by 2 it will get 0 0.11. So, the equation 2 becomes I can write down as F average is equal to 16 molecular weight into 1.04 10 power t 11 and x p 15000 divided by what I will be using 1724.5. Right. I am substituting these values in the equation 2 and it will be basically rho average uh, this will be 2.2 y C H 4 average by molecular weight of C H 4 minus 0 0.3. Keep in mind that uh, we are substituting C f right or is equal to C C H 4 is equal to rho y C H 4 average of course, I am taking into molecular of C H 4 right. In place of concentration I have taken rho I have taken out because the rho is the average uh, you know this thing whichever coming right <coughs> into similar way I can also put y average uh, oxidizer m w oxidizer 2.5 and uh, keep in mind that we need to evaluate this row average right. Row average uh, by using ideal gas law I can find out rho average is equal to P by R u m w uh, mixture into T. So, uh, in this case I will be using the mixture basically right into T average or I can say it is T average. The molecular weight of mixture is equal to molecular to m I am writing is nothing but your 1 over y i by m w i right. I can write down that as 1 over 0 to 7 5 by 16 plus 0 0.11 divided by 32 plus rest will be I will be taking as nitrogen 0 0.8625 by 28 is equal to 27.81. And if I will do that, that is basically pressure if you look at is given 101 C 25 uh, Pascals is the main pressure is given right. 
and uh, is equal to 8314 divided by 27.81 into average temperature is 1724.5 is equal to basically coming as 0 0.1965 kg per meter cube. So, uh, if you look at I know all the values, I know why uh, average here this molecular weight average I can evaluate that. Uh, this is basically equation 3 substituting the values in equation 3 we can get as get Okay, is equal to 1.16 into 1.04 into 10 power 11 exponential 15,1724.5. Average is nine six five power to two point two into zero point zero two seven five by sixteen point one one by thirty right is equal to thirty six point two one kg per meter cube per second and alpha we can evaluate alpha as kg at the average by rho u 298 Kelvin CPT average is equal to 14.7 10 power 2 minus 3 1.18 into 1 1271.5 is equal to 7.64 into 10 power 2 minus 5 per second and now in uh, we will substitute all the values in the equation uh, 2 right in equation 2 we will get SL is equal to 32 by 9 into this is 7.64 10 power to minus 5 density is 1.18 and nu will be happen to calculate as a 17 this I have not done, but you can calculate that 17.16 plus 1 into 36.21, it will be coming around something 0 0.389 meter per second equal to 38.9 centimeter per second. So, um, <coughs> If you look at the approximate values, or if you conduct experiment, you know uh, it comes around experiment uh, something around 40 centimeter per second for methane air laminar flame at phi is equal to 1. There is something you can say it is uh, coming roughly, but however, you know a lot of uh, assumptions are being taken and then some average properties are taken and this uh, is not very exact, but it will give you some bulk pack numbers which will be helpful to understand and it, it, en it encompasses 
the all the features like it is a function of uh, equivalence ratio and then uh, inlet uh, temperature and pressure and also the inert addition. So, that is uh, giving the flavor of all the things. It is a very simple analysis, lot of assumptions we have made and we can utilize that for our calculation. However, the for the real situation you need to invoke the multi step chemistry and then compute all the thing which can be done by numerical right or asymptotic analysis and, uh, and again asymptotic analysis is an approximation where single step chemistry will be using right uh, will be used and uh, there the activation energy should be very high then you do some kind of a approximation there uh, and uh, with this I will stop over here we in the next lecture we will be discussing about how to relate this bonding velocity to various other parameters that we will be doing in the next lecture.